Hey everybody, how are you? My no longer pre-Kers, my kindergartners who are starting school, some of you tomorrow. I wanted to reach out and say hello and tell you how excited I am for those of you who are starting back to school tomorrow. And some of you have already started school already. Um, some of you are going virtual, which means you're learning at home. Some of you are going back in person. So there's lots of really exciting things going on tomorrow and probably last week for some of you who started already. So I wanted to say hello and let you know I've been thinking about you guys all summer. I've seen a few of you, which has been really nice. Some of you have sent me some videos, which I absolutely love, but I'm so excited for you guys to be starting kindergarten. So I hopefully you're not nervous. And if you are a little nervous, that's okay. Once you get there, that'll all go away and it'll be great. And I know a lot of you will see your friends um, and that'll be really fun. So don't forget if you're going in person, wear your, take your mask with you and wear your mask. That'll be something new this year. Hopefully we won't have to do it too long, but for a little while, I think. So um, anyway, I wanted to tell you, I was thinking about you and tell you that you're gonna be great as kindergartners. I can't wait to hear about how your first days went. And of course, to read you one more story before you go back. You might not see this video until after your first day tomorrow, and that's okay. But this one, of course, is about our most favorite bear family that we used to read a lot about, the Berenstain Bears. And this is called the Berenstain Bears Go to School. And this is where sister is starting kindergarten. So I thought, it's the perfect book, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna read you The Berenstain Bears Go to School, okay? Now I know there's somebody in that, our group from last year, Espen, who's an Ethan, who've already heard this book, haven't we? But that's okay, if you've already heard it, I'm gonna read it again, hopefully you'll enjoy it a second time. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down so you can see the book more than you can see me, okay? All right, hang on, I'm gonna tilt it just a little more. Hope oh, there's sister, ready for kindergarten. There we go. So. The Berenstain Bears go to school. Go. It had been a wonderful summer for the Bear family. They had gone swimming and boating on the lake. They had picnicked in the woods and taken many walks along the summer paths. But now summer was just about over. There was a nip in the air. The birds were beginning to fly south and the leaves on the treehouse were starting to change color. We're not seeing that quite yet, but pretty soon, huh, boys and girls? <clears throat> One evening at supper, Brother Bear said, I'm getting tired of summer vacation. I think I'm ready to go back to school. That's good news, said Papa, because school will be starting very soon. Sister Bear's ears perked up at the, at the thought of the word school. Mama Bear nodded. As a matter of fact, she said, Sister and I are get, getting ready to meet her new teacher tomorrow. This year, Sister will be starting kindergarten, and she wasn't quite sure how she felt about that. She looks a little nervous, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. She liked being at home with her mother and father and her books and her toys and all of her friends. What what will school be like, Mama? She asked at bedtime. You'll find out tomorrow, said Mama, as she tucked sister in and kissed her good night. Now, the good thing is you guys already know about school, don't you? Because you had pre-K last year with me, right? And maybe school before that with Mrs. Frischkorn. So sister hasn't been. This is her first time going to school. So that's really exciting. But might be a little bit nervous. But you guys know how to do school really well. The next day, Mama and Sister packed a lunch and took the long walk down the winding road toward the Bear Country School. Handy Bear Gus was up on a ladder, fixing the roof. Hello, said Mama, this is Sister Bear. She starts kindergarten here next week. We'll be glad to have you, said Gus. Miss Honey Bear is the kindergarten teacher. You'll find her inside. Hello there, said Miss Honey Bear in a loud, jolly voice. Come right in and look around. Sister thought Miss Honey Bear's voice was a little scary, but she let Miss Honey Bear take her hand and lead her into the room. What a big, friendly room. It had yellow curtains and tables and chairs that looked just right for someone her size.
What do you do in kindergarten? Sister asked as they sat down for lunch. We read stories and sing songs. We learn our ABCs. We paint pictures, play games, make things out of clay, build with blocks, and do lots of things, she said. These were all things Sister liked to do, and she had never seen such a big jar of paint or such fine blocks. There was even a whole barrel of clay. School might be fun after all, thought Sister, by the time she and Mama started to go home. But when the big morning came, Sister began to worry again. Mama, she said, what if I don't like school? What, what if I just don't like it? Just then the big yellow school bus pulled up. Stop worrying, said brother. School's fun. You'll like it. Now let's get going or we're going to miss the bus. He grabbed sister's hand and away they went. That's nice for her to have brother help her, isn't it? Every so often the bus stopped and more bears climbed on. Most of them were excited like brother, but some of them, smaller ones, were quiet like sister. As more and more friends climbed on, they got noisier and noisier, and the smaller ones got quieter and quieter. The little bear, who sat next to sister, began to look worried, so she smiled at him and held his hand. Isn't that nice? Then he's not so nervous, huh? I wonder if any of you will be taking a bus this year. That's exciting, huh? At last the bus arrived. The Bear Country School looked very nice. Handy Bear Gus had fixed the roof and painted the trim and cut the grass. And Miss Honey Bear's kindergarten room looked beautiful. Everything was ready. Wow, look at that. Where would you want to go first? Hmm. Maybe to the paint, to the blocks? Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Before long, the kindergartners got noisy. Two of them wanted to play with the same dump truck. Two others wanted to look at the same book. And a whole gang of them wanted to be the first to play with the blocks. What a commotion. Suddenly, a loud, jolly voice called out, Story time! Miss Honey Bear was calling the class to the book corner. That quieted things down quite a bit. That's a busy room, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Our room was always busy like that, wasn't it? After the story, Sister tried everything. She painted a picture. She helped build a block city. She made a giant clay donut. And she looked at the books. She ate all of her bread and honey at snack time. And she fell asleep and took a nap. When she climbed off the bus with Brother at the end of the day, Sister was the excited one. Mama, Papa, Look what I made at school today, she said, holding up her beautiful painting. A few days later, the weather turned warm again, as it sometimes does in early fall. Brother was restless at breakfast. I wish it was still summer, he said. Oh, I wouldn't have to go to school today. Oh, come on, Brother Bear, said Sister. School's fun. Let's get going or we're going to miss the bus. <laughs> This time it's sister excited to go to school, huh? On the bus, all the bears were talking about the things they were going to do at school. Soccer practice, science projects, music lessons, all kinds of things. Hmm, thought brother. Sister was right. School is fun. And they went in the big yellow school bus right down to the Bear Country School. And there we go. All right. Well, again, boys and girls, I just wanted to say good luck if you're starting school tomorrow. And don't worry, it's going to go really well. And congratulations if you've already started school. And some of you going to Swickley Academy have already started. And some of you that go to Moon School have already started at home. So there's a lot of excitement there. So good luck tomorrow. And if you get a chance, send me a little um, note or video from your parents. Let me know how your first day went. Okay. All right. Great to hear anybody. Bye.